Did you know you can learn Chinese more effectively by using some useful tools while watching YouTube videos? Let's find out more in today's video. Hello, 大家好 I'm Grace. In today's video, I will help you maximize the effectiveness of learning Chinese on YouTube. You will get to know how to choose the right content, and I will introduce you to some tools that you can use to help you learn faster. Now, let's get started. Just a heads up, the method I'm going to talk about today is more suitable for those who have already learned Chinese for a while and know a certain amount of vocabulary and basic grammar. So I'd like to first talk about how to choose the right content for you. There are two things to consider. One, difficulty of the content. And two, your interest. The difficulty of the content you choose should be one where you can understand around 80% or above so that you can learn new words from context. And you should also pick the content that interests you so that you are motivated to watch it. If your goal is to use Chinese to communicate in daily life, I highly recommend watching reality shows or vlogs because compared to movies and TV dramas, reality shows and vlogs are unscripted before filming. And even though they might have some planned storyline, the people in the show speak like how they would in real life. So that it would be very helpful for you to observe and learn how native Chinese speakers naturally talk. Here are some reality shows that are on YouTube for your reference. If you are learning Taiwanese Mandarin, Quan Ming Xing Guan Cha Zhong is a good one you can start with. It's a reality show that features seven Taiwanese celebrities and observes their lives for 14 days. They go grocery shopping together and do other activities together. So you will be sure to hear a lot of daily Chinese conversations. Another show that is famous among Taiwanese people is Mu Yao Si Chao Wan. They have a series called Yi Ri Xi Lie, where they experience different kinds of jobs and get to know different industries. But many of the words they use are quite advanced, so this show is more suited for advanced learners. If you are learning Chinese Mandarin, here are some options for you. Tong Yi Wu Yan Xia. This show documents the life of three men and women living together and the things that happen between them. If you would like to watch the Korean show Running Man, there is a Chinese version of this show called Ben Pao Ba Shong Di. It's also on YouTube. For those of you who want to learn business Chinese, I recommend 初入职场的我们. You can even learn how to give a presentation through this show. Uh, 大家好, and if you want to find some Chinese vlogs, feel free to check out my playlist of all of my own Mandarin vlogs. And if you'd like to watch other vlogs, refer to this video I made that includes my recommendations. You can find all the reality shows and vlogs I mentioned through the links in the description below. Once you have picked the content that interests you, now let's talk about some useful tools that can be used on YouTube to make your Chinese learning more effectively. If the video provides closed captioning of Chinese subtitles, then there are two practical add-ons for the Chrome browser. The first one is Zhongwen Chinese English Dictionary Chrome Extension. First, download this Chrome extension and make sure it's activated. Then go to the video, click on the three dots icon, and click show transcript. Then when you are watching the video and encounter a word you don't know, you can just move your cursor onto it, and its pinging and meaning will appear. One advantage of having the script by the side of the video is that if you'd like to repeatly listen to a sentence, you can just click on it. 我在美国这一年来的一些经历, also, remember that you can always adjust the speed of the video by changing it in the setting. Another add-on is Language Reactor Chrome Extension. After installing it, make sure to turn it on and adjust the settings to your preferences. You can choose what language you want it to translate to, and after, you will see Chinese characters, pinyin, and the translation for the subtitles. If you don't want to have the translation on, 
just turn it off in the settings. If there are some words you don't understand, you can click on them and its meaning and example sentences will show up. If you prefer studying on paper and taking notes while you are watching the videos, you can download the subtitles and print them out. And whenever you encounter new words, you can use this tool, Youdao Dictionary Pen 3, to look up the words or phrases effortlessly. So you don't have to open up a dictionary on your phone or computer. It will save you a ton of time. You can even save the words to review for later. This pen works on scanning both simplified and traditional Chinese characters, but the examples it gives are in simplified characters. I've got some great news for you. Now you can get the pen with 25% off with my discount code GRACE25 at their official website. I've included the link in the description below. The tools and additions I've mentioned are good for videos that have closed captioning. But what about videos that only provide subtitles on screen? Unfortunately, the tools and add-ons can be applied to them. And instead, you can download the Google Translate app on your phone and use the camera function to directly see the translation. But if you'd like to check the meaning of a word, it's better to set both languages into Chinese. And after taking a picture of the screen, you can click on the word and then send to translate home. And change the language to English or any other language. And you will see its translation. If you'd like to see how to use this word and some of its example sentences, I recommend that after you take a picture of the screen and click on the word, you just click copy text and passed it into a Chinese dictionary app like Placo, then you can learn more about this word. Okay, now you have the material and tools on YouTube to learn Chinese effectively. If you'd like to learn even more efficient methods of study, I've made many videos that integrate linguistic knowledge for a better understanding of the mechanics of Chinese. If you're new to my channel, here are some videos you can start with. the links of all the videos I referenced today in the description below. Remember to check them out. Alright, that's it for today. I hope you found today's video helpful. And if you have some other tips and tricks to learn Chinese on YouTube, you're welcome to share it in the comments below. 还有如果你喜欢今天的影片,别忘记按赞、订阅和分享哦! And if you'd like to learn some daily Mandarin expressions, check out my Instagram, Grace Mandarin. 那我们就下次见喽! Bye bye! Another lazy afternoon Clouds covered in gray, third coffee of the day. Almost fell asleep on soon. I yawn at the display.